Chairman Pete Williams to say a few words. First of all, can I just say thank you for that wonderful support. It's my pleasure to welcome everyone here today on behalf of Port Vale Supporters Club and the Sprosen Fund. It was back in 2001, a long time ago, when the idea of creating a permanent memorial as a tribute to Roy Sprosen and his family was first discussed. A lot of time has passed and there has been many obstacles to overcome in order for us to get here today, but we have. So many people have been involved in the process that it is impossible for us to thank each and every one of them as we inevitably run the risk of leaving someone out. Suffice to say that over the years, literally hundreds of Port Vale fans have given generously and dozens of people have worked extremely hard to help bring the project to a completion. That said, we would like to single out the following for a special mention. Apologise for that, I'm not used to this. Single out the following for a special mention. And these are really important people. To Mike Talbot, the sculpture, because when you see it, you'll realise what a brilliant job he's done. The Port Vale Ex Players Association, who have helped us along the road. Ivan Ash and his team of Nettlebank Memorial masons who actually have done the splint for us. Now that said, obviously, we then needed a great deal of help. And builder Chris Bailey Limited, who actually did all the construction work, I can't thank him enough. Also, I need to mention uh, Paul and Kevin from Juicen's Builders Merchants, who actually, without their help and Chris's help, we wouldn't be here today for the materials and the work. I would also personally like to thank the project manager, Mr. John Samrook, because not only did he actually supervise the whole project, he actually also drew the plans, got the planning permission, etc. There is just one other person that I need to mention as well, and that's my wife Liz. Not only did I have to bribe her to come out today, but in actual fact she has actually been a stalwart in the whole thing, writing the letters and keeping me on track, getting things sorted. We are very grateful to everyone who has donated time, money and resources to help what has been a genuine community effort. As Paul Vale prepares to enter a new era, we are delighted to enable to unveil this statue which we hope will be a source of pride and inspiration to future generations of staff, players and supporters of Port Vale Football Club. I would just like to say thank you for being here to share this special day with us all. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, there are a couple of people who are unable to be with us today, but they've asked us to pass on their thoughts. Firstly, former Vale manager John Rudge has sent the following message. I'd like to convey my very best wishes to the Sproson family and all Vale supporters on what is a wonderful day for the club. I was privileged to spend many happy years at Vale Park and had a Sproson in my team who was a real asset to the club like his father and uncle before him. All the best, JR. <laughs> Secondly, we've been sent a message by Robbie Williams, whose dad, Peter's with us here today. Rob has written, when I became a Port Vale fan as a young boy, I heard the stories of great Port Vale sides that consisted of homegrown players who used to travel to the ground on the bus 
They were names that you'd now call legendary. What Roy Sproson achieved at Port Vale made him the legend among legends. Congratulations to everyone that has been responsible for creating this tribute to Roy and my very best wishes to Joyce, to Phil and all the family on this special day. Now before we take the covers away, or the wind does, we'd like you uh, to hear from the man responsible for creating the aforementioned statue. Please give a round of applause for the sculptor, Mike Talbot. Now Mike, tell us a bit about the process of actually creating it. What, what was the most difficult part? The most difficult part was the likeness, for sure because obviously uh, Roy, Roy wasn't with us. We had lots of photographs, but um, part of the problem is we wanted a sculpture that was in action, so we needed an action pose, and the majority of the photographs were, were Roy enjoying himself, basically. So we, we had, had to compose the, the portrait head with what, a, what I think is a determined and aggressive, aggressive um, position. Did I, did I dream it, or did Sam Collins do some heading practice at one point? And you, you, you yeah. did, yeah. We took lots of photographs uh, of of leaping and hitting and heading, and you, you can see I have a great command of football. Presumably, you're happy with the result. Very, very happy. The most the most uh, important thing when when we first started, we, we had a, a, a meeting in in the Leopard some 11 years ago. Uh, Tony, I think, is here somewhere in the crowd, very tentatively asked me, he said, we can put up with anything, but, but can you confirm you're not a Stoke supporter? Which, which I do. Which I do. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Talbot, thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, my most important guest today, a couple of very important people who have a big job to do. Um, firstly, we have Les Yates here, who I understand is at the grand old age of 93. Is that right, Les? 94. Yeah. Right. You can't trust yeah. the Sentinel. Uh, right, Les is going to Les is going to help out. Secondly, they say that behind every great man is a great woman. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is. It's Mrs. Joyce Sproson. Right, what we're going to do, Joyce, is... You can do it, Joyce. It's yours. You, are you going to cut it, Les? Right, you're going to cut that ribbon, Les. Can you reach over there, mate? If you could help us out here, Chris, that'd be great. Wonderful. And now we're going to grab, if you can both grab a piece of the uh, material. If you can grab this, Les, here. Don't worry about that. There you go, Les. If you can grab this. Very blowy. And just pull it. Just pull it tight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sproson statue.